Welcome to Telltale Books. I'm covering the next in my Harlan Ellison series in this video, and it is called Riff. Riff was published originally under the title of Riff Tune, which Harlan Ellison point Harlan Ellison tells a story that Riff Tune is a really stupid title because a riff is a tune. So calling it Riff Tune is redundant. It should just be Riff. And his original title was Riff. And he, he had this one editor that changed every one of his titles of everything he published in this magazine. And when he wrote this story, he thought, there's no way this title can be changed because it's Riff. Okay, there's, there's no need, there's there's no way you can change the title. So the this editor went ahead and changed it to Riff Tune. Which was completely redundant and stupid. But the editor changed it anyway because he just felt like he had to change every title. Anyway, it was originally published in a magazine called Suspect in June of 1956. And... This was, Riff was Ellison's 16th work, by my reckoning of his bi bibliography. So this is the 16th story that I'm covering. Now, unlike, I believe, everything that I've talked about so far, this story is not imaginative in the sense of, of being fantastical or surreal or science fictional. This is just straight what what you would call literary fil literary fiction. It's not a huge story. It's very simply a, about this jazz musician. He's a really awesome jazz musician. Um, plays a horn. And he gets tangled up with this woman and of course getting into this relationship distracts him too much and he starts to play like crap the woman pretty much um, ruins his career and that's really the whole story but it's it's written um, written in a very strong style good characterization pretty well written pretty well written and so it's it's a very enjoyable little story it's it's nothing great or magnificent it's it's more of a character study and and kind of a, a morality type thing of you know don't let don't let a woman a woman take you away from your art <laughs> um but it's It's not one that I would call a top tale. But if you want to read something a little different from Ellison that's not science fiction or fantasy, then this is an excellent story for that. And I would rec recommend it on that level. It's a little, little bit difficult to get a hold of this story. I was able to get a hold of a copy of this book, which is now no longer in print, honorable whoredom at a penny a word there's a volume two to this that i'm still trying to track down without success um so good luck finding it but if you're able to find it and, and get a copy it's worth a read it's a short story so it's not taking up all that much of your time and so on onward to my next Harlan Ellison's story from July of 1956. It's called One Sexy Husband and also has an alternative title of Goodbye Edie. And I'll get into that in a near future video in this Harley, Harlan Ellison series, probably in about a month. I hope you'll come back and join me for that. And I'll see you then.